Well, hello, friends and clients. It's me, Dr. Gary Sunderoff with Cruise Planners. We are a top producing Silver Sea account, and today we're going to take a look at the Silver Nova, which is a new design by Silver Sea, and what you should know and why this ship is so different than their other ships. So stay tuned for the full scoop. As a top producer with Silver Sea, I can offer you the best value at no additional charge. This means that I'll always add a perk to your Silver Sea cruise and most importantly, add you to our value tracker. Even if you've already booked a cruise with Silver Sea directly, I will still save you money when you transfer it over to me. So please email me so I can help you out and start saving you some time and money. So what makes this ship different from the other Silver Sea ships? Well, all the Silver Sea basics are here. They're all suites and they include butler service, open bar, gratuities, and Wi-Fi, but there are a few differences. On the other Silver Sea ships, the suites start with a window, for example. They're known as Vista Suites, but no, not on Silver Nova and Silver Ray. These all start with balconies. And also, Silver Nova has introduced us to some extra suite categories as well, which you'll see a little bit later on in the video. One of my huge concerns was that this ship is significantly larger than their smaller ships, which raised my eyebrow. But somehow, Silver Sea has gotten away with making this ship feel more spacious and a lot fresher. Why, you ask? Well, let's investigate this together in this video. When you walk aboard Silver Nova, you see some differences between this and the other ships. It's more contemporary. There are large, expansive areas and even an atrium lobby with lots of glass. And the colors are soft. The textiles and the materials used are top grade. It's really a welcoming environment and it feels casual, yet elegant and inviting. And while the critics have praised this ship, some negative reviews on the Nova have been left on some online sites, which has actually concerned some of my clients. But based on my experience and every single return client I've had so far from the Nova, the reviews have been impeccable. And of course, I know there's no such thing as perfection. There's always going to be something wrong here or there. But my experience was absolutely a positive one. This is the guest services area and the shore excursions area where they'll help you if you are experiencing something that needs to be addressed. Or of course, if you want to change up your shore excursion that you may have already prearranged. I love that Silver Sea is all inclusive and they have included shore excursions at every single port of visit in your cruise fare. And pretty much everywhere off the atrium has pretty comfy areas to relax and unwind and to meet up with friends and family during the day or to listen to live music at night while sipping your favorite cocktail. Of course, Silver Sea does have an open bar policy where cocktails, beer, wine, and champagne are included in your fare as well as non-alcoholic beverages. The Arts Cafe is a good place to stop and enjoy a specialty coffee or some treats. They also offer an English tea service upon request, which is lovely and also included in your fare. If you're more of a quiet person, as you can see, there's a lot of little nooks and crannies hidden around that you could just sit around, read a book, and again, enjoy a nice English tea or just hang out with your friends. So there's always something for everybody to do while on board.
A signature trait of Silver Sea is that there are always fresh flowers within viewing distance. And if you're a bar hopper, there are also plenty of bars where you can wet your lips on the way to catching a show or meeting up with friends. And of course, comfortable seating areas to enjoy it. While Silver Nova has an impeccable space ratio where even full does not feel crowded, please keep in mind that a lot of these scenes were filmed while in port. It's not usually desolate like this, but when empty, it provides a great taping opportunity for me to share these areas with you. And for those of you who like to stay on the ship while in port, the crew is here to take care of your every whim. Okay, now let's take a walk over to the observation lounge. This is one of my favorite places on the Silver Nova, and it's a great place to get a 270 degree view high atop the ship on deck 10. Whether you're at sea or viewing the port that you're currently visiting, the observation lounge is certainly a great place to be from the top of Silver Nova. And as you can see, it boasts floor to ceiling windows and a soothing color palette that's inspired by the ocean. The lounge houses Silver Nova's library, which offers travelers an intimate space in which to relax with a book, maybe sip on some coffee and enjoy time while taking in the amazing views that you will be discovering on your journey. Adjacent is a beautiful outdoor seating area as well for those who like to be al fresco. Now let's look at the Panorama Lounge, which does get a lot more foot traffic. By day, it is considered a peaceful lounge and a lively bar in the nighttime. And let me tell you something, if you're into drinks, this is definitely the place to enjoy a drink. The bartenders are incredible, usually from Brazil or other parts of the world, and they really know how to make an incredible cocktail. And just like the observation lounge, they've designed this room with a 270 degree viewpoint with floor to ceiling windows. So you can take a look at the destination you're at or just enjoy the beautiful ocean on those beautiful sea days. And again, more fresh flowers everywhere you look. I guess this is a good opportunity to mention that they also bring you phenomenal appetizers while you're hanging out and having a drink. Egg uh, mimosa. We have tuna. We have uh, grilled shrimp with wasabi and green peas. And uh, this one, onion fritter. Please enjoy your canapé. Thank you. Welcome to the show. And I hope you enjoy the music. I'll be doing some Motown as Nicole said. So this next song is called What's Going On. Enjoy. New to Silver Nova is the Marquee. And the Marquee is a product of the Silver Nova's asymmetrical design that you see all over the place. Wait till I show you the pool. This is a relaxed dining space, which includes Spacanopoly, which has those famous Naples-inspired pizzas that you're used to. And of course, the grill, which offers the delicious hot rocks concept of cooking on the lava stone during dinner. This is something you might also be used to on other Silver Sea ships. The grill does not have an upcharge, but it does require dining reservations for the evening. So this is a casual lunch menu in the day, and since it's near the pool, you can also indulge in some good old-fashioned American comfort food, pizza, and of course, other delights. What is my... And Atlantide is the main dining room restaurant, if you will. It is also a classic steakhouse. It's where you'll probably dine most nights and it does not require extra reservations as it's an open dining concept. And while it keeps the same breakfast menu, the menu changes daily for lunch and dinner on a seven day rotation. I can tell you right now, the food in Atlantide is consistently good.
And then you've got Salt Kitchen, and I'll let Marianne explain to you what the concept is here. Salt stands for sea and land face. It's a local cuisine of every port that we visit for a day. That's the port of our space. We have two kinds of menu. We have the terrain menu, and then we have the voyage menu, the second and the third phase. The voyage menu usually stays until the end of the cruise. Those are a different kinds, kinds of cuisine that was been uh, choose on every port that we are going to visit this coming few days. Oh. Salt Kitchen is also a walk-in restaurant and does not require advanced reservations either. There's no upcharge for Salt Kitchen as well, and whether you're looking for really good food and wine, you're meeting with friends or family, or you want a deeper understanding of the region that you've just visited or about to visit, this is why Salt Kitchen was designed by Silver Sea. Oh, good. All right. Your table, sir. Thank you. <laughs> All right, good evening. How are you tonight? This is your menu for tonight. And uh, welcome to Seoul. My name is Ralph. I'll be your waiter for this evening. As you see, we have two menus. When you open the menu, the first one is the terrain menu. This is changes daily, or sometimes two days. And it's based on the local ingredients and recipes from the port we visit. And then the voyage menu, which remains for the entire voyage and offers dishes and spars for the countries and the scene, and the larger regions we saving too. And then the, tonight's the fish of the day is Arctic char. Tonight you're having the bread of the whole wheat bread with the sunflower seeds. Okay. Beautiful. And then uh, you have uh, the onion and scallions. Scallions. And then uh, the, the tea for this evening is a uh, sweet corn. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's yeah. good. With sweet potato as well, so it's really nice. Nice. And, uh, this one, the butter is uh, parsley and pepper butter. That looks great. Okay. So we have sweet corn for the bread and the parsley butter. Yeah, and the parsley butter. Wow, great. The tamales. And the cheese. The nice. Mexican cheese. Uh, squash blossoms. Uh, wow, that looks nice. beautiful. Thank you. The squash fritters. The fritters. <laughs> Thank you. There's the main course. This is the mojo, the camarones. Oh, all right. Thank you. Salt Lab provides the opportunity to get involved with the Silver Nova chefs and local food experts to learn a thing or two about cooking. And as you could see, Salt Lab has cooking stations with this amazing central work station. And if you decide to participate, you'll be able to sit down and view demonstrations as well as play with the local ingredients to enrich your understanding of local food and culture. There's also a nice outdoor seating section area of the Salt Lab to enjoy the deliciousness you just completed with the local chefs to enjoy it in. One of my favorite places to dine on the Nova class of ship is La Terraza. La Terraza is also similar on the Nova class to other ships with that dazzling aft view that it's famous for. The restaurant is also included in your fare and dining reservations are highly recommended. You can do these dining reservations in advance on My Silver Sea. And don't worry about any of these things because I can help you and guide your hand the entire way when you're booking with me. La Terraza is also open for all three meals. There's a breakfast and lunch style buffet with sit down service as well, where reservations here are not needed. The food is casual and they will take extra good care of you as well while you enjoy your delicious breakfast or lunch here. 
Pro tip, sit outside al fresco. Whether at port or at sea, it's one of the best views you'll have on almost any ship afloat. Salami and pork salami and prosciutto, romini cheese, goat cheese, bell pepper mitina, this octopus salad, pochini mushroom, olive bruschetta, tomato bruschetta, parmesan. Gnocchi. Thank you. One appetite. Thank Kaizaki is also another restaurant where there's an upcharge for dinner. It's Japanese and has a hibachi style grill, but they also serve other Japanese food such as tempura, sashimi, and sushi. Here, reservations are also encouraged, but they also offer lunch included in your fare where they serve a lot of good sushi. The Silver Note is also a Silver Sea classic where you'll enjoy dinner and a live show with exceptional singers who sing the classics and jazz. Here, there is no upcharge, but dinner reservations are highly encouraged to make in advance. And I will help guide you through all of this. And as you could see, the main elevators are connected with the glass and the ocean. Every single time you step foot in these elevators, you will feel connected to the ocean or the port that you're visiting. It's such an airy welcome aboard Silver Sea. Now here is what I think is a substantial upgrade to Silver Sea, and this is the main entertainment lounge. Let's look at the Nova Classes Venetian Lounge. They have really upped their game when it comes to entertainment and have the lounge to match. This is the first time Silver Sea has a two-story entertainment venue for Silver Nova's enrichment and entertainment offerings. The Venetian Lounge hosts live theatrical musical performances, movies, as well as evening events and enrichment lectures during the day. I attended one on the Nuremberg Trials, which was excellent. And in my opinion, Silver Sea definitely had room to improve when it came to their live shows, and they've really upped their game with much better shows in this venue to match. Well, good evening. Joe, how is everybody doing tonight? Okay, let's look at the Silver Nova's new pool deck design. Wow, Silver Nova's pool decks are absolutely beautiful and welcome. With ample space for 280 sunbeds, this pool area occupies a really great space on the starboard side of the ship. It has unobstructed views so you can view the area and destination that you're visiting and the ocean from the swimming pool. It has a great pool bar and unbelievable sunbathing areas. The pool is clearly larger than on the other ships with this beautiful new layout. It has wide entrance steps into the pool and more room even inside the pool. And the Silver Nova's top deck, which is deck 11, forms an amphitheater shaped area with deck 10. It's quieter, it's more intimate, and it has incredibly amazing views over the destination and out to the ocean. And in the middle of all of this, overlooking the ship side, extends a beautiful infinity edge jacuzzi whirlpool. Take a look.
For those of you into fitness, the Silver Nova has a wraparound jogging track, which is actually really fun to walk through or jog through. And every 12 laps is one mile around. And as you could see, there is so much outdoor seating and space that it's just incredible. It is never overcrowded. You can enjoy a nice drink while getting some sun or enjoying the port that you're in, weather permitting, of course. This is really a nice welcome to have so much outdoor space open to the sun and the beautiful weather that you hopefully will be enjoying aboard Silver Nova. And for those of you like me who like to enjoy a walk around, whether it's the daytime or after dinner, the Silver Nova's outdoor decks are expansive. There are many, and it's like a classic ship where you could walk around and again, enjoy the beautiful ocean as it goes by. If you're the type who likes to be away from the world and just get some sun and not be bothered, then deck 11 up in the front area is for you. It is a pure sun deck where you can sit out, put on your suntan lotion, enjoy the sun, read a book and forget about the world. One of my favorite things to have in a ship is an aft view. The Silver Nova has actual aft view cabins, but contact me before you make this reservation so that I can help you because I do feel some of those aft cabins are a little bit obstructed and I'll be able to give you my feedback and help you pick out a cabin that's right for you. Another upgrade alert on Silver Nova is the Cigar Bar, Connoisseur's Corner. Here you can choose a premium cigar and liquors to match. This is also a new layout featuring a larger and more modern interior space with floor to ceiling windows and a spacious outside area. They've added Chesterfield armchairs and this really looks and feels like a private upscale club. If you're a huge casino person, this might not be the ship for you. It's a small casino with a few game tables and slot machines, but it does get busy and fun at night. The spa is probably the ultimate space to unwind. Here you can enjoy a variety of treatments, including the typical massages and facials, manicures, pedicures, etc. They have an amazing and eager staff really willing to take care of you. And a lot of people ask me, especially when upgrading from a mass market ship like either Oceania or Celebrity, is the sauna and thermal pool included in the spa? The answer is yes. On the Silver Nova, each of the saunas and thermal pools are absolutely included in your fare. And here's another notable area where I think they've made pretty big upgrades, and that is the gym. 
This is considerably larger with all the equipment that you'll need to stay in shape and burn off those additional calories you'll likely be adding to your diet aboard Silver Nova. They've also got great exercise classes and dance classes which are usually taking place in the gym dance studio. Another noticeable area of improvement are the suites. All cabins, of course, are suites, and each and every cabin aboard the Nova class of ship has a balcony. This is an example of a premium veranda. This is the smallest type of passenger suite aboard. Every single classic through premium veranda are identical as far as square footage, with the exception of the bathroom, where you can choose between a larger shower or a shower stall with a separate bathtub like their other ships. I personally like the larger showers. They also have reduced the single serve plastic toiletries and water bottles, which reduce waste aboard. And of course, like every single Silver Sea cruise, you will always have fresh flowers in your room and a welcome aboard bottle of champagne waiting for you. Of course, they'll always bring you goodies. And one of my favorite things to do aboard any Silver Sea cruise, if you know me, is to order room service where they bring everything course by course. This was a midnight snack, so not really course by course, but here's a breakfast for you. And of course, there are larger suites as well, which we will take a look at in just a moment. But I use my breakfast as a wake up call and then I enjoy it before my activities for the day. One thing about Nova is definitely getting the right suite. I am an expert at this. I know it very, very well. A lot of these suites have somewhat of an obstruction, even though they don't indicate it on their deck plans. When you book with me, I will take care of you. Some of the larger suites, as you can see here, offer a bit more room and additional amenities. I do think that the classic to premium suites are great. But if you're looking for more room, these larger suites usually have a door separating the bedroom and offer a larger amount of deck space, which of course is a huge plus as well. The larger suites come with complimentary laundry done by your butler. But if you're in a premium or lower, you can do your own laundry in their laundrettes and they even include the laundry detergent to use. Hello. And of course, Silver Nova has plenty of retail therapy to be had on board. No art auctions or anything like that, but certainly pre-owned upscale handbags and watches, which I personally feel are a terrible value. And of course, Silver Sea logo items, which are a much better value. Enjoy your dessert, Dr. Gary. Is Thank there you. anything that I could get for you? For the so in short, I do wholeheartedly believe that Silver Sea has hit it out of the park with the Silver Nova. It is a welcome addition and I think a huge upgrade. So for the best value, even if you're already booked on a Silver Sea cruise, I can bring to the table, email me at gary.senderoff at cruiseplanners.com. I will help you out throughout the process. Don't forget to visit my website at www.tourdoctors.com. Sign up for my VIP email list. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it for you. And check out my other cool videos on other cool travel destinations. All right, take care and keep exploring.